Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, in this episode, I finally figured out where we need to go. Well, actually, figuring out is, you know, a bad way to put it. I looked up where we need to go because I was getting kind of tired of wandering around. It's been like two episodes of me just like wandering all over the place. Uh, this is where we need to go. I completely forgot about this place. Uh, this is where our little rival, I don't know her name, uh, she like dashed across. And of course, I didn't connect it together that the wall jump can be used to make it up here. Uh, so yeah, I looked up a walkthrough. Uh, I'm not ashamed. Oh shit. Okay, I'm not ashamed to admit it. The thing is, it's like actually not easy to look up walkthroughs for this game because because it is so extremely open-ended and there's so much stuff to do. Everybody tends to kind of do stuff... Shit. Okay. Oh, that counted. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, everybody kind of tends to do things just slightly in a different order. Oh, that's going to be... That's going to be an interesting drop. Yeah. Cool. Again, I've played Super Meat Boy. No need to worry about platforming. We got it, boys. We got it. So yeah, that's why the, this game, finding a walkthrough uh, and kind of finding where you are can be a little bit difficult. Large Knight statue, there's a socket on its chest. We have the City Crest, which we got from the first boss. So yeah, that is a big-ass gate. Let's move on. Shut up, phone. Why is that so loud? Why do I have my phone set so loud? Never mind. Ouch. I didn't think that's where that was gonna go, that enemy. I thought it was gonna charge at me instead of goddamn exploding. But hey, we'll take exploding. Oh, hello. This is a new enemy. We'll take exploding any day. So probably have to what? Yeah, we probably have to watch out for these enemies. I was just about to say it. All right, you know what? First things first, we are gonna go and look at what's up here. By the way, I didn't even like set up the. Episode, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Hollow Knight. Okay, that cleared things up fairly quickly. I'm so glad I'm actually making progress. Although, I was making progress before as well. It's just, you know, Metroidvania type progress where you're distracted on side activities. Which can happen, which can happen. Yeah, man, like, I'm finally recording. I did not upload too many videos this week, unfortunately. I was extremely busy. But, oh shit. Oh, it's glass. We're like in some tower. Damn, that range. Yeah, I was pretty busy at work. But that's just how it is sometimes, you know. I try to balance things but some weeks are crazier than others okay oh damn that's kind of <laughs> what a dick move so you can be in it to win it shit you can be in it to win it I recognize the side area. The great gates have been sealed. None shall enter, none shall leave. Okay. I'm assuming that uh, it's not a death pit, but we can get there anyways. Checkpoint, finally. And this dude, I like this dude. I don't know who, what his name is, but I like him. The capital lies, Quirrell, like the Harry Potter character. The capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber place it seems, and one that holds the answers to many mysteries. Many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, though now I sit before it, I find myself hesitant to descend. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? Honestly, the lore of this game is so interesting. 
Considering that these are basically little insects. Uh, you know, the atmosphere and emotional weight of this game still manages to be significant, you know. Really demonstrating that it's all about, you know, building atmosphere is all about design. Like, you can make a game about goddamn anything. Uh, if you have a strong artistic style, it don't even matter, you know. That is exactly the type of stuff I need. Fuck, how am I ever gonna get to 1800 is, I think, the number I need. That's pretty insane. Oh, we have rain, City of Tears. Damn. City of Tears. Look look at how... Okay, that's really nice. How the water is dripping. That's pretty cool. Sorry about your sign. Oops. I really like attention to detail like that. Water dripping and all that. Somebody said that I should use my magic more. Uh, which is a completely fair point. So yeah, man, it's all about atmosphere, you know, in terms of game design. Or like a lot of it comes down to it. Speaking of, you know, Dark Souls, I love the game. From a gameplay perspective. Is that the artistic direction, I think, is weaker. Oh, hello. Because it's a lot more of like a bright art style. Have you brought me another nail to be all honed? Leave it on the ground and liter li return later if you're still breathing. Oh! Okay. I thought we have to leave like our weapon. Because no thanks. I'm gonna do it. This was stupid. I don't know if this was stupid or not. Cause here's the thing, like part of me, oh shit, you got a little animation. That's really cool, what is it? It's a beetle. Horned beetle. Damn, that's so good. Costs a ton of money, comparatively. Compared to the fact that I really need to be saving this shit, but... It is stronger. So now that he, he sharpened, sharpened it. But I wonder if this upgrade is permanent or not. I'm assuming it is. Like. It would be a little bit pointless if it wasn't. Right? Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, in terms of artistic direction. You know, Dark Souls 2 with its brightness. Okay, that's not instant death. I think that's one of the reasons why people kind of find that game a little bit strange to look at. Because Dark Souls 1 really nails the foreboding atmosphere, the aforementioned, you know, atmosphere we are talking about. But in terms of having a unique look, this game, I think, takes the cake from games I've played recently. Cool. City of Tears. So this is like... This is like the capital, right? Of this place. A mechanism with a simple keyhole. Interesting. Oh, I can already tell that we're gonna have elevator puzzles, right? Not even like puzzles, but that these elevators are gonna lead to crazy amounts of oh shit oh there's no more okay i thought we could go even further up we cannot can you break this no you cannot i this charging slash which i've been forgetting to use <clears throat> and i shouldn't really because i think it's pretty good holy shit an actual cutscene
Damn, the music is good. I'm, I've been listening to the soundtrack in places. <clears throat> and the soundtrack is excellent. Again, we meet little ghost. Okay. This is the capital. If knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in Halloness perpetuation, seek the grave in ash, and mark it with grant to one like you. A mark it with grant. What? She talking some shit. Memorial to the Hollow Knight in the black vault far above. Though its sacrifice through its sacrifice, Halloness rests rests eternal. Is this like a Gwyn type deal? <clears throat> <clears throat> Fucking hell! I'm like choking on nothing. Black temp, black egg temple. We've been there, right? It was in like it's like in Dirt Mouth or somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oops, I shot my load. <clears throat> See, the interesting thing is that I'm getting like a, a Dark Souls vibe from the lore here. Okay. This is not the way to go, I guess. Just because of the fact that it said, like, you know, perpetuating uh, Hello Nests. Well, like perpetuation, perpetuating hollowness. Perpet that doesn't make sense, but you know, you know what I mean. You get my point. If you hear barking in the background, that is my dog. Don't worry about it. Okay. So I am guessing that I probably missed something. Hell yeah! There's more platforms. Okay, I've been here. And the rest of it leads back up. So we need to find... First things first, we need to find the map guy. And I think that would be... Step number one. Normally he's quite easy to find. You just gotta look for... Little paper trails. Hmm. Yeah, I'm missing something really obvious. Could be. Could very well be. I don't deny that I'm sometimes blind uh, to shit. Hmm. Simple keyhole. Let me just have a look again. Because if this is all there is to this place... I'm going to be bitterly disappointed. Hmm, there's no way you can jump up there. Absolutely no way. Oh, he swims! That's kind of adorable. He swims. I thought he was just walking along. Okay. This area seems... Bare bones. I mean, it did mark that shit on my map. So... My first instinct would be, obviously, that there is something there. I also have this. But I think the areas where you can use this are marked in some way. That's pretty... Oh, I just noticed that it's a little nail. To get to the nail smith. Oops. That's pretty cool. Shit, I'm taking a lot of damage. I am fully charged, though. So no need to worry. I don't think I've missed anything here either. Which I think means... That we have exhausted our options in this area. 
Which would mean that I need to get the hell out of here. Huh. Well, it's a little bit saddening. I genuinely thought that there would be like a whole new world to explore. But maybe I am an absolute idiot and I missed something super, super obvious. I don't know. Again, the only thing I can think of is that it definitely marked that black temple, whatever. Hmm. Where all that water comes from. My feeling from what he just said is that we'll be visiting that place. So yeah, again, it can't be accidental that it specifically marked that area on my map. If there's something to do there, it's shit. Very possible. Very, very possible. I mean, it's nice that I'm stronger. Okay, just thanks. I was gonna say don't explode, but that's a little bit... Difficult to stop. It's all about that exploding. I mean, at least I'm getting cash. If nothing else. Yeah, this was this. I mean, this looks to be a huge area. The question is... When will I actually be able to explore it? <coughs> oh, wait. Hello. Damn, this game is sneaky. It's sneaking in all this like... Oh, come on. That's it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. This took no effort. I was expecting a bigger secret. Hold on. We are locked? We are locked in. Shit. That is El Problemo. As they say. Actually, it's Un Problemo. Not El Problemo, but... Huh. Okay. Well, that certainly... Spices things up. This is a spicy, spicy area, which means that I am, I have been confirmed to be an idiot because whatever you need to do here, my ass has missed it. Oh, is that why it said that? I think that's why it said that. I thought the Great Gates meant, like... I kind of had a feeling it meant that, but I thought, like, you know... Preemptively, before we came in. Alright then, game. I see how you play. Oops. I thought that thing was gonna die. <coughs> Excuse me. How we're playing. I like the... Okay. That changes, th changes things. I did not know you could... Get on top of these. Much clearer now. I thought these were like environmental foreground bits. See, I knew there were platforms up here. Yeah, this certainly... Changes the dynamic here. And I'm kind of... Much clearer on what the hell we need to do. Oh, that's a big ass enemy. These big enemies can be deadly, but that one wasn't. Let's heal. Okay, hopefully this is going to be just in terms of looking at my 
Geo. Hopefully this is going to be... Oh, Naisu. So many NPCs. I, I come searching for rare items. Have you? Well, hands off. This collection is mine and I won't be selling the grubby little wanderers. That's pretty funny. Oh. You can sell these? Shit, that makes things so much better. This makes things so much better. Holy shit, I'm so happy. Do you know the kingdom's five great knights? They're revered figures of Hallownest, often mentioned in the annals of kingdom, of the kingdom, but only as a group. Huh. I'm nearly there. Let's give him one of these. I wonder what he says. Deified by the citizens with the king rarely seen worship was offered through these idols. Okay. I just have more cash than I've ever had. The only problem is I cannot actually leave. But hopefully that is an issue that we'll be fixing. Looking to fix. Honestly, the enemies so far, the reason I so confidently uh, just sold on all my shit and got a ton of geo is because the enemies don't seem to be the most difficult in this area. So I'd rather just get it over with, you know. Because once I actually get back, I'll be able to get that stupid lamp, which will open a whole other area for us. Okay. We'll need to come back here. I'm thinking that there has to be a straight up path out of here because there is an elevator in Deep Nest. Is Deep Nest the first area? I think it is. In Deep Nest, which I remember specifically, it said that it leads to the City of Tears. I thought that was going to be our like main entrance, but I think it's instead going to be our main exit. You know. Oh shit. Long way down. Luckily, fall th that's that sliding animation is the most adorable thing. I love this main character. There's something. Shit. Oh, that, that is a lot of HP. Rancid egg. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Fuck, it explodes anyways. Damn. That I didn't expect. It's probably a difficult enemy to deal with. If I actually cared about the damage it dealt. I mean, the fact that it deals too is significant. Okay. That was a insanely small... Oh no, no it's not. Yes, okay, that, that's a station. Station to station. Oh, it's a grub. It's probably the easiest one to get to in a while. Yuppie. Oh, I know that. There's a paper trail. And that means... 
The boy is nearby. I just died. Shit, that's a problem. That is un big problemo, as I've said before. First things first. I have a general idea on making in the back. See, I just said that this area had insanely easy enemies. I, I got caught off guard. What the hell? Oh, it cannot crush you. Okay. That's nice. It's nice of them. I ain't taking no risks here. We are taking it slow as a motherfucker. I came this way. No. I don't want to fall off. Technically, I cannot even die falling off here. Man, this is going to be a pain getting back. Because I... God, you need to have like strong environmental knowledge in this game before you have the map. Why was that other guy dealing so much damage? These guys only deal 1 HP and I already forgot. I think I went this way. Yeah, I did. And up here. Yup, yup. Okay, cool. That wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I may have over-exaggerated. Shit, there's so much here. Shouldn't go here. Shouldn't go. Because I'm going to get distracted and I'm going to lose my shit. That's my not taking any... What? That hitbox. That's my not taking any risks approach. That's it. I think that's it. Okay, you gotta work to even get to a map. He gotta be here somewhere. With that paper trail and the humming. Damn, that's a lot of geo. Although I do have a lot of geo. What up? Isn't this a change from the twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply <laughs> splendid. Yes, very much so. Map updated. Let's get that toll. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. It's a bench machine. Not a cash machine. Is that dude still around? Dram, I think. That dude was pretty good. Cash machine, that's a good song. It looks like this might lead back to the mushroom area. There were mushrooms nearby. Okay. Well, that's like a more advanced form. I think I know where this leads exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind, <laughs> never mind, never mind. See, that one has like yellowish eyes. Do I want to bother? It's pain in the ass. 
These dr these don't drop at least. Got that going for us. Hmm. I get it. I mean, this is the type of area where one of, where one of these trees would be nearby. Again, the question is, do I feel like... Going around and doing all this. I mean, once you clear, clear the enemies... Guess it's not too much of a problem. Oh, hello. Simple key. I have a pretty solid idea of where that goes. A simple key goes in a simple mechanism. Hey, listen, I've played adventure games before. I know how this shit works. But before we do any of that, I shouldn't have left, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have done the tree thing. Just from the ease perspective. Wanderer's journal. Okay. Well, immediately we have a solid cache back up. This area did turn out to be exactly what I was expecting. Honestly. Hella worth it, I think. That is that elevator. Okay. Looks like a door. I knew it would lead back. I knew it. First things first, we can explore the other end of this, which I was curious about. Secondly, which would be the smarter option, I could go back to Dirtmouth. That is definitely the smarter option as of this stage. Yeah, do not, do not mess. Do not mess with that. Forgotten crossroads. Cool. Just had to get a bearing on my location. My location, as they say. There's like a worm puzzle here, involving like bouncing off of spikes, which I never completed. Or did I? Oh shit. I don't think I did complete, whatever. I'm taking the easy way out of here, as in back to our starting area. I will splurge on the lamp. We got the cash. Why not spend it, right? That's how... What the? What the hell is that? Or do enemies just sometimes give you that other resource? Which I should visit the guy, because I have 200 now. 200. I actually can just visit him, because there is a station near him. That ain't a problem. Man, this game is expensive. This game is on Switch, right? As well. That must be tight as hell, the Switch version. I'm assuming that, like, temple that was marked, this place. Which is not this place, right? Oh, it is. Temple of the Black Air. We couldn't come in here before, right? Oh, no, no, I think we could. Oh, they correspond 
Don't we have to take out like three guardians? Or See, this is a Dark Souls-ish vibe, isn't it? The fact that you gotta... Or like the, the, the last area, which I'm assuming is the last area, I could be wrong. Is underneath the starting area, like the simple little town. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Okay. So he, yeah. He talks every time you... Hmm. This guy has a good dialogue. Thinking to loot his treasures, I suppose. Hmm. And the lamp is being sold by this dude, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Lumen Fly Lantern. Oh, that's expensive. That is expensive. So what do you do with this thing? Does it work automatically or... It doesn't matter. We're not going to find out today, obviously. But what we are going to do is... I think we'll wrap up this episode here. So, just looking at how much of the City of Tears I've explored, we have quite a way to go. Quite a way. I have some ideas on where to start, uh, so we'll, we'll kind of see about... We'll see about what we got going for us. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead... Oh, there's a stack station on the other side of where I was. So I was pretty close to it, I just didn't unlock it, which would have been would have been a good option. Never mind, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. First we gotta go to the resting ground. That's number one priority for next time. Uh, we'll wrap it up here, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. Peace out and see you next time.